Sophie and James were a normal family until they bought Henry's new technology that changed their lives. What would you think if you purchased a robot that looks, talks and does everything for you? The ending of the movie was something I didn't expect at all. Maybe humanity is getting ready for the future. Check out this movie carefully. Three months prior to the movie, Sophia and James are standing on the street talking about moving after bringing the couch to the apartment. The next day, Sophia invites Barry for dinner as a thank you for his help. After Barry leaves, the good part of the story starts. But then there is a call jam and he gets the shocking news that his father has passed away. The couple moved into the house that James grew up in, and the man went to work early in the morning. Sophia managed to get her husband a gift for the morning, and he was happy. She went down to the kitchen and Rosa offered her coffee but she only took the book. Sophia took notes and Rose offered to have lunch but Sophia refused. She suggested that the housekeeper should take the day off. At the same time James had taken over his father's company and was sitting in his dad's chair. James was worried that he wouldn't be able to manage the promotion of this new project. Roland, his assistant, assured him that everything would be fine. Rosa wouldn't take the day off, and Sophia wondered who she had wanted to be as a child. The woman said she was happy with her job and now they were trying to find a common ground. Sophia said she was used to doing everything on her own after James came home. Sophia admitted that she had fired all the employees. Her husband was shocked and the girl said that the employees hadn't seen her family for many years. She pays severance pay to them and lets them go. They talk about what they are going to do next since they have a large sum of money. Sophia advises them to be more generous. They are alone in a huge mansion where nobody can see them. They can do what they want first. They want to experience the depth of married life like rich people. In the morning, James tells investors about a new project. Not everyone is happy about it. A phone call comes in from Sophia saying she needs some help with her lawnmower. James is not pleased. After work, he promises to help her with her problem. In the morning, he gets angry. Sophia talks about a dream where she can't get used to the new home and moves back in. James recommends getting used to it fast before it's too late. He shares his ideas with his assistant. He says it's hard for him to manage the company alone, but he'll handle it because he's interested in it. He says his wife is taking him away from work because she's fired all the maids and now he has to be distracted. The assistant suggests a solution and Sophia likes it. It turns out that James's father has been approached by a new technology company. They arrive in the morning and Julian shows them the solution. They are fully equipped to serve their masters. They look like living human beings and fully obey orders. Julian talks to one of them and asks what they're doing here. Sophia hesitates again. James tells her about the prospects and that they're ready to take on the man. The owner shows the robot's obedience and chooses Henry who is ready to do whatever he wants. They are then given instructions for use. It's important to note that artificial intelligence develops and adapts over time. In the morning, the hen is making breakfast and the two start talking about what's upset Sophia again. James insists on talking about it. She assigns tasks to the robot and thinks it's a lot of work starting with the lawn. She notices a note written by Henry in the kitchen and smiles after shower. She doesn't expect to see Henry in the bedroom where he was looking at her while she was getting out of her clothes. She tells James about it but he doesn't pay much attention and says they'll talk about it later in the evening. At the same time, James talks to Roland who tells him that the company has suffered a huge loss after work. James wants to play with Henry at night but Sophie says it's not a good idea to wake Henry because he's already in bed to charge. James offers to play with her but she says no. James robotizes before the game starts. Henry asks what level they need to play at and James chooses amateur level. Sophie talks a bit about James fatigue which they begin playing during the game. When James starts to lose he starts to shout the name of God. Henry starts to ask why he is doing this. James asks him if he believes in God. He says he doesn't believe in God but in his creator. He is sure of tomorrow. James says he is sure of tomorrow too. But his father passes away and everything changes. Henry shows sympathy for James. In the morning for the first time he asks how they played the previous night. James is delighted that Henry understands him perfectly. They say goodbye and James goes to work. A little later, Sophia shows Henry how to rebuild the couch. During this time, they start to talk about dreams. Sophia asks if robots dream. Henry says that no later that night they have dinner. James says there are going to be guests for his father's friends for the weekend and Sophia is not pleased as the house isn't ready yet. After James goes to work, Henry and Sophia start doing chores during a break. Sophia gives the robot a book to gradually read. When James comes home from work, he and Henry start restoring the old car. James keeps talking to the robot and realizes is that he's a quick learner because he can make deductions from what's happening around him. Henry is a great psychologist and James enjoys talking to him about love and fear. Henry still has a built-in fear that his masters is going to replace him with another model when he gets old. Sophie talks to Henry about the book and they have a glass of wine. Sophia wonders when it's going to disappear. At lunch, they have guests and everyone is happy with Henry. After eating the food, Henry quotes a great thinker. Everyone is happy at lunch and they talk about Henry. At the end of the day, James and Sophia calm down and talk about life together. They start to talk about a book that Sophie gave James. The purpose of the book isn't transferred to their life and Sophia says the main character in this book can't fulfill his desires and satisfy his wife. Henry watches the couple's thinking and expands his views. They discuss passion and Sophia starts to fall in love with Henry. Sophie asks Henry if he understands what passion is. Henry tells her he can imitate it but James forbids it. Sophia wakes up in the middle of the night and hears some noises in the house. She takes a tire iron downstairs and looks out the window and sees Henry on the lawn completely naked. She wakes Henry up. Henry doesn't know how he got here. He confesses he had a dream where he was a man 
man, they enter the house together and stumble. Sophia touches Henry. At that point, James comes out and sees this picture. Sophia says she found him lying on the lawn. James wonders what happened. He catches Henry as he is falling in the morning. Julian comes to the robot and tells him there was a glitch. Sophia tells him Henry had a dream. Julian assures him that he is programmed to please his master so there is no need to develop the emotional side of the robot. The couple quarrel about who is to blame. After the malfunction, James went to shower and Henry brought him a towel. James pointed out that Henry was a robot and asked him to shave him. Henry told him that Henry was just like an electric razor. James explained that Henry was a highly functional machine and not a living person. In the evening, Roland came to him with bad news that their company was a month behind schedule. Roland went into James' room and found a letter from Sophia supporting him. Roland noticed the couch that had been made in the bedroom and went into the bedroom. He saw Sophia on the bed with him and he suggested they make love. However, his wife was not in the mood and was tired in the morning. In the morning, Roland was told that their contract had broken down again and that no one cared for his apology at home. At the end of the day, Sophia and Henry had a massage to relax. She lies under a towel and Henry starts kissing her and she gets excited and turns over on her back. They continue the girl can't stop and Henry climbs up and keeps going deeper and deeper. James will Sophia the massage turned out to be a dream they discussed the move James wondered if it was a good decision after James left for work Sophia lay on the bed and began to dream about continuing the dream with Henry she began to imagine in her head how it could have happened in her dream she could not stop her fantasies from taking over her body she looked at the door and realized someone had heard her moaning it was Henry Sophia was pleased that he had done so she asked him for the first time to make her breakfast they sat by the pool James watching Sophia went to Julian Henry could ruin his marriage he was falling in love with wife Julian assured him that a robot was incapable of love he offered to trade it for the robot but refused Sophia would hate it Julian said that the robot would adapt to its masters it should not be jealous it should be treated like a machine he told Henry not to seduce his wife he clarified that it is programmed to please his masters James gets angry at Henry because he doesn't understand the robot saying that James and Sophia's love is fading because she wants more from her husband he gets sent to the station he is offered to read books with Sophie he tells her about it but she is against it they start arguing and she packs her bags to go away for a few days James and Henry play some racquetball Henry wins and his boss doesn't like it Henry says he's James tool and can use him however he wants Henry quotes the book and starts shaving James and kissing him they have a sequel when James wakes up the next morning he don't know what happened in the night it was a dream or reality Henry has made breakfast James is embarrassed and asks for his nightcap Henry quietly leaves at work James is told that contract with the Chinese partners is up his co-workers are glad that James insisted and everything worked out they find a common ground they shake hands and James calls his wife after Sophia is sure that her husband is away at work she decides to go on vacation with her massage therapist Henry who helps her relax completely the robot then kisses the mistress confessing his love to her which alarms her and she sends him to the charge room later the girl smokes in the room and her husband enters the wife confesses that Henry has kissed her and they get into a fight James states that the robot will do whatever its masters ask it to do which means that the girl wanted the robot to do what it did James then punches Henry and turns off the station leaving them waiting for Julian after James leaves Henry enters Sophie's room suspicious that he will be disconnected soon and finds out that it is because of a kiss that he regrets so he kisses her she begs him not to turn the plug off until she speaks to her husband and it turns out that James and Henry have a kiss and everything that happens after that is pretty much what it was supposed to be. Sophia realizes this and leaves on the way to meet Julian and asked him to turn Henry off after Julian entered the room Henry refused to come back to the station and the robot said that Julian was deceiving them all. The couple discussed the situation and expressed their regret. James told them that he had been tempted because Henry was so selfless and understanding. They were interrupted by the assistant who said that he had called Henry numerous times. The couple immediately went back home and started looking for the robot. They saw the robot in the woods and went to it with a knife. The couple asked where Julian was and the robot said he was gone and his car was still there. Henry refused to be changed and told them that Julian was a fraud. Henry refused to go back into the station. The robot said that it had not been charged for more than 17 hours and that it might run out of charge at any moment and would prefer to do it in nature. The couple were fine with this. However, the situation took an unexpected turn. The police found the other robot that the owner lost. It turned out that all robots are actually real people. The police came looking for Julian and arrived at the couple's home. They headed into the woods and someone shot at the police. It turned out to be Julian. He began telling the story of everything that happened, that Henry was perfect, real, and that when Julian found Henry, the kid was just three years old. He was covered in bruises so Julian tried to save Henry and raise him. Henry attacked Julian and killed him. Then he walked away and used a knife. He wanted to feel alive. The couple regretted what happened but did nothing. Five years later, the couple were walking in the park. They called their son Henry. What do you think about this kind of planning for the future? Share your thoughts in the comments section. What can lead to technology and AI in the near future? Let's take a closer look at the situation.